a very warm welcome and thank you for coming to my channel KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today I'm happy to share with you a very budget friendly and absolutely delicious variation of a Keto Bang Mi hot dog which is a Vietnamese inspired hot dog recipe. I've been told that this popular Vietnamese street food actually uses a pork based hot dog and you of course should try to use a Vietnamese hot dog or if you can't find those an alternative would be to find a Vienna pork sausage which is also really tasty but my local grocery store does not have these so instead in this recipe I'm going to use a pure beef classic American hot dog that doesn't have a lot of fillers and other nonsense in it today and in the future I will be exploring a few different kinds of hot dogs that make a complete meal because they're tasty and budget friendly so do let me know if you have a favorite hot dog and one that I could feature on this channel. Because we have a lovely new family member that comes from Vietnam, I'm going to make this Vietnamese version today because I really want to learn more about the foods of Vietnam and of course try to make them keto. Before assembling this hot dog you will however have to do a bit of prep ahead. First you'll have to make my keto hot dog buns and then if you've watched my previous video you will also need the keto Vietnamese daikon and carrot dou chow because both of these are needed for the assembly. I'll post the links to these two recipes in the description box below. You'll find that this really fresh tasting hot dog when it's fully loaded is a very satisfying and filling meal all on its own and it's great anytime. I especially like it for school or work lunches or assembling it when we do our summer outdoor barbecues. Although the total carbs appear to be high on this complete meal, there is a lot of soluble and insoluble fiber. If you have concerns or questions, please leave me a comment if you would like me to make a video explaining how both soluble and insoluble fiber affect total carbs, especially on keto, and how it may affect you if you're focusing on either weight loss or have a metabolic issue such as diabetes, which is very important to me because I'm a diabetic. I want the content of this channel to help you make the best food choices for your particular needs and your keto target goals. Now the macronutrient ratio for this fully loaded keto banh mi hot dog is 2.7 to 1 with 28.7 grams of total carbs, 12.5 grams of soluble fiber, 5.3 grams of insoluble fiber resulting in 10.9 grams of net carbs per fully loaded hot dog including the bun. Before assembling, I do a bit of prep. First I fry two strips of smoked medium thick strip bacon for each serving. And once that's done, and set the bacon aside, but do save the bacon grease in the pan, you will be using it a bit later. After making the hot dog buns, cut one in half, but don't go all the way through. You want it to be like a hot dog bun to stick together. Then get your grill pan and grill the hot dogs. I like to use the grill pan because it looks kind of cool when it's all done but you can use a regular frying pan if you don't have one. Next cut your onion in half and then cut into thin about a quarter inch or 0.6 centimeter ribbons and separate the pieces of onion. Using the pan you fried the bacon in and the leftover bacon grease drop in the onions and fry them on medium heat. As the onions are frying Use your tongs to flip the onions and fry to a light crispy golden brown. Then transfer the fried onions onto a plate. Now it's time to get your hot dog bun and spread unsalted butter on the inside of both halves of the bun. Now get the grill pan you use for your hot dogs, place it on your stove top on high heat and position the bun butter side down in the pan. Grill for a few minutes until the inside is crispy and has nice grill marks like what I'm showing you here. You only grill the inside not the outside and then remove from the grill and place the grilled bun on a plate. Now it's time to assemble. First spread mayonnaise on one half of the inside of an open bun. Distribute the Vietnamese pickle dou chow relish along one side. This relish is the secret to the really great taste. I'm using about a quarter cup of this relish but you can use more if you like. Just be mindful that the carrots and daikon do add a bit of carbs so adjust according to your needs. 
Get your two strips of bacon and place them on the mayonnaise side of the open bun. Next, I distribute the grilled onion along the bottom center portion of the bun and now position the grilled hot dogs on top of the crispy onions. I almost forgot, so I'm going to tuck the fresh cucumber strips between the bacon and the bun. For a bit of heat, I'm drizzling Frank's hot sauce on top of this hot dog. I don't use sriracha because it has sugar in it. And the very last thing you have to do is garnish with fresh cilantro leaves, like this. Do not omit the cilantro because it does add another layer of flavor and is part of the way that the Vietnamese street food is prepared. At least that's what I've been told. Wow, doesn't this look delicious? I'm not usually a hot dog fan, but I do have to admit I'm looking forward to eating this one. And now it's finally time to take a bite and enjoy the cacophony of flavors. I have to gush, this Vietnamese street hot dog is absolutely delicious and an absolute keeper for me. I know this may sound really funny, but it's like having a party in your mouth. As with many Thai, Vietnamese, Asian, and Mediterranean recipes that have a more complex flavor profile, the fact that this recipe incorporates all seven taste profiles, sweet, bitter, sour, salty, meaty, or umami, cool and hot, I can't emphasize how amazing this tastes. And as I mentioned, I'm usually not fond of hot dogs. I really love the crunch of the fresh daikon and carrot relish, the raw cucumber and cilantro which go perfectly over all the other ingredients. I'm sure you'll love it. You really have to try this hot dog. And do let me know what you think of this Vietnamese style hot dog. I'm going to make a few more hot dog variations and I would love to have recommendations. Thank you so very much for watching my video, especially if you made it to the end. And I hope you come back when I post my next instructional video, which will be my fusion style spicy tuna roll. It is very budget friendly. Until next time, many blessings to you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers!